I, I strolled into your house last night. I checked the messages, heard Abby say that she was coming back from the airport, took the tape, and then hopped into bed with you? Yes. You know, when this drunken stupor wears off, you're going to feel so humiliated oh, right no, now. Oh, no, there's no chance of that happening, Claire. Honey, you stumbled in here last night, and you knocked into that table. You smelled of whiskey. The table went, sent the answer machine flying, the phone went flying, everything. Don't you remember? So the tape ejected. Have you tried looking for it? The tape is missing. The tape is missing, isn't it, Claire? You, you know what's happening here. You're very upset, mad as hell that Abby left you, and you're feeling very hurt, and you're trying to blame somebody. No one's to blame. I find it remarkable that you're willing to admit that. Although I, I have to say that I think it would be easier if Abby had left you for somebody else. My wife left me. My wife left me because she grew into a different person other than the girl that I married. She had a second birth out of a world of silence into an entirely new experience. And it was overwhelming. And it was powerful enough to take her in a direction away from me. And she had the courage to go with it. And I'm proud of her. And I will love her till the day I die. Oh, Rick. Which is why this stupid trick of yours was such a waste of time, Claire. I did not invite you into my bed. It was some stupid scheme that you came up to hurt my wife to make sure that no reconciliation was possible. And you know what, Claire? It didn't matter. It didn't matter because you're just too stupid to understand what our relationship was all about. I've had enough of your tricks, Claire. And I've had more than enough of you. I agree with Rick. No more games, Claire. Why do I feel that this is going to become even more unpleasant than it already is? Because you know that I want to find out the truth about this, Claire. You know, I don't know whether I should go to work or just go back to bed and pull the covers over my head. Either way, I'm, uh, I'm out of here. Will you meet me at Millennium, please? Need anything? Just my wife back. Claire, wait. No, really, Michelle, I have taken my share of arrows this morning. No, excuse me. I think that I have a right to know if what you Rick just said was true. Did you actually do that? and Abby were way beyond reconciliation. I thought I'd fail. I'd save them a failed attempt at trying to make things better. Rick was drunk, and um, I knew Abby was coming home from the airport, so I, I got into bed with Rick. So everything that Danny said about you was true. I tried to help Rick out. That means that I killed his mother? No, it means that nobody can trust you. That is not true. You and Rick and everyone I love can trust that I will do what has to be done to take care of them. Well, that is a terrifying thought. What kind of person, what kind of mother does something like that? One who's trying. I'm not perfect. Michelle, I'm not Maureen Bauer. I know that. But I am trying. I wasn't perfect. I make mistakes. I will continue to make mistakes. Sometimes the same mistakes over and over again. But I have tried. Because I know I wasn't perfect when I gave you up. That was and continues to be 
the most painful thing that is in my life. I gave you up because I knew you'd be better off without me. Can you try to imagine what it's like to live with that truth, Michelle? Can you get your head around that one? If you could feel what that cost me, then maybe, just maybe, you might understand that I am indeed trying to be a good mother.